what is up guys welcome back to another video and this is a video of taking uh the two the two the same person but looking at their past career and looking at what their what the future what the um the gimmick or what um how they're being portrayed on TV now and looking at looking at the uh their other character and now their new character now and I'm basically saying Dean Ambrose or John Moxley who's better Dean Ambrose and John Moxley. Let's start with Dean Ambrose. I'ma just admit it. I was not a big fan of Dean Ambrose. I was not a big fan of Dean Ambrose. I'm sorry. I was not. He would he could not he was funny, but he did not get over like I didn't see him as a WWE champion. I could not because all the stuff that he was doing, all the stupid shit that he was doing. And it felt like WWE was saying that, okay, we're going to go all the way with you, but not all the way. They, he was being portrayed as a fake-ass lunatic. A fake lunatic. Like, he took bumps and stuff, but he never did anything hardcore, did he? Never. He never did anything hardcore. And that's what pissed me off about the WWE. They handled, they handled Dean Ambrose so wrong. I think Dan Arrows could have doing some could have been doing some more hardcore shit. Yeah, I don't care if the WWE is PG. I think WWE could have made their next, you know, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Could have been like, cause Stone Cold Steve Austin is a fucking lunatic. Uh, freaking uh, what what is his name? Braun Pillman. His that y'all next freaking uh, hardcore. I he could have been like that. Dan Arrows could have been like that. Braun Pillman, Raven. He could have been. Sabu, uh, Mick Foley, he could have been like that, but he's, he was being portrayed as a stoop, a fake lunatic, a fake psycho, like a, a fake psycho, he was not psycho, everything that he did was, it didn't click with me, Dean Ambrose did not click with me, and fast forwarding, forwarding to the stuff that he did in 2018, his last run in WWE, when he came back, and he turned on Dean Ambrose. I mean, he turned on Seth Rollins after um, Roman Reigns got that, um, did that speech in the main event and did that speech. And when they won the tag titles, I felt that. But still, Dean Ambrose did not click for me. Dean Ambrose still didn't click for me. They had him getting a shot, and they had him getting a freaking flu shot, wearing a freaking gas mask, wearing a Bane mask. If y'all don't know who Bane is, he's from The Dark Knight. This man was so, he was done dirty. I think WWE missed their opportunity with Dean Ambrose. Now, John Moxley, on the other hand, and I'm going to just say this right now, I was not a big fan of indie wrestling. I am not a big fan. Well, I will, well, add, well, when I was younger, I was not a big fan of indie wrestling. I was never watching indie wrestling. I would like I'm not going to lie, I knew who the Bullet Club was. I knew who Kenny Omega, AJ Styles. Finn Balor was, I didn't know who Kevin Owens was, I didn't know who Kevin Owens, I didn't know who Sami Zayn was, I didn't even know who Ricochet was, but the Bullet Club stuck, stuck for me, but let's, but, but we don't need to talk about that, I was, I never watched John Moxley matches, but the, um, John Moxley matches that when he, before he came to the WWE, I never watched those matches, when Dan Ambrose, I mean, when John Moxley left the WWE, he did that freaking lights out match. I was there live at Full Gear. Full Gear Royal Farms Arena. I live in Baltimore. Royal Farms Arena. This man. Why didn't WWE portray this man like that? Like he do in like he was in in AEW. They should have. I think they should have copied the what on. Uh, I think they should have just took what, it, what he was doing in the Indies and put it on television. Put it on actual television. WWE missed their opportunity. John Moxley, like I couldn't even speak after what he after what he did at Full Gear. I'm sorry, but I love that match. That was one of my favorite matches, my favorite hardcore matches. And now I'm sitting here watching indie wrestling. Now I'm I'm in here watching indie wrestling, watching hardcore matches, watching uh, death matches and all that stuff. This match. 
was a fucking amazing. With John, with John Moxley and um, Kenny Omega, that was a fucking amazing. A lot of people hate it. I loved it. Cause I never seen none. I never seen something like that in WWE. I never, cause I always been a WWE guy. I was watching Impact at the time, but I was watching more of Impact, even though Impact fucking sucked. But I never seen none of that in WWE. I never seen none of that in WWE. What AEW was doing with John Moxley was was the old WWE. What and let me go back to WWE. The thing that he did with, with Jericho, when Jericho, um, when he put them tacks down and he just, he slammed them on the tacks, now that was hardcore. I'm going to just say that right now. That was hardcore. But the John Moxley that's being portrayed in, in AEW reminds me of a Mick Foley, reminds me of a Braun Pillman, reminds me of a Raven, reminds me of any, any fucking psycho um, that was in ECW. So I think John Moxley is better than Dean Ambrose. When John Moxley, when John Moxley left WWE, went to John um, and um, brought out his old self again as John Moxley, and when he had that match with Dean Ambrose when with freaking uh Kenny Omega, it fucking it did something to me. It I w- that was one of my favorite matches ever, and I will watch that again. I will watch that match again. And that 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 match tells you why we're wrestling fans. That match just let me know why was I why was I a wrestling fan? Cause I love hardcore shit. I like that. Dean, I think Dean, I think John Moxley is better than Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose fucking sucked in the WWE. Everything that this man did in the WWE fucking sucked. I am sorry, even his title reign sucked. His title ain't sucked. How they wrote him off TV. Instead of having him go up against Reigns at WrestleMania, y'all just fucking bury him. Bobby Lashley. Y'all bury him with Bobby Lashley. So my my so I think Dan I think John Moxley is better. John Moxley is better. John Moxley is better. So let me know your thoughts down below. I said a lot of shit in here. I hope my camera didn't go out, but let me know y'all thoughts. Do you like Dean Ambrose or John Moxley? What um who would you pick? Even though they're the same person, but with a with a PG with a PG lunatic gimmick and a more rated R hardcore gimmick, which is John Moxley. The PG gimmick, the PG hardcore gimmick is. Dean Ambrose. But let me know y'all thoughts. Let me know y'all thoughts. Down below. Um, do y'all feel the same way? Or am I just spreading? Or am I just, just going off for no reason? Am I just going off for no reason? Let me know. Let me know. But thank you guys for watching this video. See you guys next time. Post comments down below. T- turn on notifications. Even subscribe. And put, um, turn on notifications so we can get all my content when it, you can be the first person uh, to catch all my content when it comes out. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Love you guys.